Oh. Gilman Hotel. Uh, February 7th, 1922, early evening. Innsmouth turned out to be more dilapidated, depressed, and unwelcoming than initially expected. The stench of, the stench of rotting fish fills the air, while poverty and disease lie festering in every cobbled back street. Only a few of the inhabitants have been at all cooperative, and the others are evasive and sometimes downright hostile. My detective instincts tells me that they're trying to hide something. And my common sense tells you they're trying to kill you! Of course it could simply be prejudi prejudiced by their look and, and manners, or perhaps they dismembered body parts in their back rooms. They're almost ugly enough to get to get me believing those local tales of the Innsmouth taint. Or it could just be generations upon generations of inbreeding. Possibly with fish, by the sounds of it. Even so, I've been able to make some progress. Uh, finding Ruth Billingham was a lucky break. Uh, she's, convin she's convinced Loverboy is still in one piece and being held in the town jailhouse. Oh by, oh, by the way, yes, I understand I'm being somewhat slightly racist towards the people of Innsmouth, but I don't give a shit because Innsmouth is, fiction Innsmouth is fictional. So, uh, I can be as racist as I damn well please. And frankly, they're a bunch of inbred cult worshipping murderers. So who cares? Uh, Rebecca Lawrence is clearly afraid of something. She doesn't come across as a type that scares easily. But then I guess she's not afraid enough to leave. She seems more worried about me. Then there's Zadok Allen, the old rummy. Excuse me. Uh, he was willing to talk, all right. I wish I knew whether he turn turned to drink because of what he saw, or whether he saw things because of what he was drinking. The Order of Dagon, some heathen religion, brought back from the South Seas by Obed Marsh. Hmm. Rituals on Devil's Reef. Those who wouldn't join, those who wouldn't join, massacred by some kind of monsters in 1846. It's also far fetched. Yeah, it's also far fetched. Apart from the uh, the six foot fish monster, which almost gouged your eye out and murdered in cold blood a small child. So yeah, very far fetched, isn't it? But what else could explain the thing that Char? that charged out of Thomas Waite's attic. If I hadn't spoken with Thomas himself, I'd be, sh I'd be sure I was seeing things. Whatever's really, whatever's really going on, this place gives me the creeps. The dreams are becoming stronger. I seem to spend each night in weird, fantastic landscapes, with immense buildings like no architecture I've ever seen. And my body in the dreams is so strange I can't begin to describe it. Maybe it's some buried memory of all the memory of all the all the occult stuff I've studied when I wasn't myself. And this spooky vision thing is acting up worse than ever. It used to be I could kind of see what people were thinking sometimes, but now it's going crazy. It's like someone's watching me all the time, tracking me from the rooftops and the shadows. I'm so edgy I, c I can hardly think straight. If only I could get some decent bourbon in this miserable town. Well, you did have a bottle of whiskey, but you gave it to Zadok. There was nothing stopping me from taking a few swigs beforehand. I'm pretty sure Zadok was quite willing to settle for half a bottle. I need to track down Brian Burnham, and fast. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I'll make an early start in the morning. City of Narcotus. Rest now, Jack. 
you are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Somewhere. Where do you want to go? Away from you? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will, in time. Human, where have you put the outsider? Top of the house, room 401. Come on, let's have them. Here they come. Oh god, there's more of them. Okay, you're having visions of them heading towards your room. It would make sense to move. Attack of the Fishman. Um. Okay. Yeah, as you've probably figured out, these things pass way too fast for me to read them, so if you want to know what's happening to... Uh, just pause the video. Get up. In there. Yes, I can yes. hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. Quick! I see him head Check the door. Yes, I'm not stupid enough to fall for this. Come on, open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the bloody door. Quicker, please. Thank you. Yes, it is. Um. Outsider. The lock of the store is broken. I'll have to block oh, the door with fuck. something. Ow. Quickly. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, they've got me. Stop. This could have come better. I've broken these doors. Ow. Oh. Okay. Apparently I'm dead. Try again. There's his room. Just can't skip it. Down. No, I can't Here, skip it. Take the keys. Curses. <coughs> it's locked. Probably bolted on the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. Quick! I see him head Check the door. Uh, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? Door, 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 door. Open. Open the door. The door will be bolted. Hey, Glada! Don't let him get away. No. Push. Outsider, stop! Won't budge. Oh, what? The lock of the store is broken. Ow. Ah. There's his room. Just okay, I'm not going to go down. through this every single time. Oh, sorry, I am going to go through this every single time I die. I'm not going to put you guys through it, so, uh. If I continue to die on this one bit, then I'll probably... I'll probably just skip it. Yeah, please, please open, please open. Oh, bollocks! Break the door down, you damn fool! Quick! I see the head go 
He got me, but uh, I'm still alive for the time being. The crouch, I shouldn't be able to get shot right now. Well, that's a theory at least. Oh, where the hell do I go? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do when I get there? Bit of help if you don't mind. He's up there, oh, shite. Uh. Excuse me, miss. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. Keep going up. It won't budge. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to go then? It won't open. Oh. Um, oh, oh please, please go somewhere safe. Um, there's a flashlight over there. Going up. Continue going up, please, if you don't mind. Um, where to now? So where the hell do I go? Um, well, this could be going better. Right. Ooh. Health pack, thank you. Ooh, there's someone over there, but get this and wander back, I should be able to uh, avoid his gaze. Uh, what I need now is a... Okay, that is just way too damn convenient. Yeah, I have... Whoa! Claw marks and my... The bone is actually peeking through my arm. That is not good. I will need bandages and a splint. Okay. Well, that could have gone immensely better. And apparently bandages and a splint have the uncanny ability to uh, repair my shirt. Right. Well, it took four attempts, but, uh... Did it! I found a safe point, and I suppose I'm relatively safe. For now. And yes, I think I'm about to hyperventilate. My heart is racing. Oh my god, there's someone with a... a gun over there. In sneak mode, you'll be less visible to enemies. Try using sneak mode to assess the route ahead and study enemy, pa enemy patrols. Yeah, that is sneak mode. Apparently it just makes the screen fuzzy. I'm not entirely sure if it actually does anything useful apart from slow my ass down to a near crawl. I'm not entirely sure why they can't see me like this, but it somehow increases my stealth ability whilst decreasing my movement speed. Okay. Hello. I do know that that guy is wandering about. Yeah. I've got him just sort of stood there, pointing his gun off towards that far wall. And I've got some idiot with a flashlight lurking around as well. Can I... can I make it over there without either of these idiots seeing me? Let's go find out. He 
Be very, very quiet. I'm avoiding idiots. Put that flashlight somewhere else, pal. He's wandering off. Hopefully he's wandering off to a place that I'm not. It would appear I can't. He's here! Oops, it won't open. What do you mean it won't open? Um. Where am I supposed to go then? Ooh, open Kill window. Him. Oh dear. This could be going better. I lost him. Don't let him escape. <laughs> See ya. Well, they can't see me. They lost them off the roof. He's got to be somewhere in there. Spread out. Start the floor. He's hiding somewhere. Of course, I'm hiding somewhere. You're armed to the teeth. <laughs> 